let's take up this question on bank reconciliation statement this is a question where the bank overdraft as per the cash book is given unfavorable balance as per the cash book and we have to arrive at the balance as per the passbook in my earlier video I have explained what are the items to be added and what are the items to be deducted and what is the reason behind that so here I am taking up a question on the same uh, case and we will be doing this now. Ok now first of all let us read this question from the following particulars prepare a bank reconciliation statement on 31st March 2013. Bank overdraft as per the cash book is given as 52,100. During the month checks amounting to rupees 94,000 were deposited into the bank. But of these, one check for Rs. 11,160 has been entered into the passbook on 5th April. During the month, checks for Rs. 89,580 were drawn in favor of creditors. Of them, one creditor for Rs. 38,580 encashed his check on 7th April whereas another for rupees 4320 have not been encashed. As per the instructions, the bank on 28th March paid out rupees 10,500 to a creditor but by mistake the same has not been entered in the cash book. According to the agreement on 25th March, a debtor deposited directly into the bank Rs. 9000 but the same has not been recorded in the cash book. In the month of March, the bank without any intimation debited his account, debited his account for Rs. 150 as bank charges and credited Rs. 180 as interest. So this is the question that we have. Now we have to make a bank reconciliation statement for this. Remember whenever, see first of all we have a bank overdraft as per the cash book. Whenever the bank credits any amount, the overdraft is reduced as per the passbook. And whenever the bank debits something, the overdraft gets increased. Right? Now let's look at this. Let's make the uh, format for the bank reconciliation statement here. The particulars column, amount details and amount. As on 31st March 2013 right okay now let's write down the first thing we have bank overdraft as per cash book the amount is given as 52,100 right Okay, now let's look at the items one by one. During the, the second one, during the month, checks amounting to rupees 94,000 were deposited into the bank, right? When you deposit some money into the bank, that reduces the overdraft balance, right? So as soon as we deposit the money in the cash book, the overdraft balance would have got reduced by 94,000. But one check for 11,160 has been entered into the passbook on 5th April. That means in the bank the overdraft would have been more by 11,160 rupees as this has been entered into the passbook only on 5th April. Remember we are preparing the bank reconciliation uh, statement on 31st March right. So this check has been entered into the passbook on 5th April means the overdraft balance in the bank 
on 31st March 2013 would have been more by 11160, right? Okay, so this 11160 should be added. So here let's make add and let's put here the items which have to be deducted. So here you write checks deposited but not entered in passbook right this is 11 one six zero right okay now let's take up the next one third one during the month checks for rupees eighty nine thousand five eighty were drawn in favor of creditors were issued in favor of creditors right of them one creditor for rupees thirty eight thousand five eighty and cashed his check on seventh april that is after thirty first march right whereas another for rupees four thousand three twenty has not encashed it at all right so what does this mean when you issue the checks to your creditors the overdraft balance as per the cash book increases because you make the entry as soon as you issue the checks in your cash book right but one creditor for this amount 38,580 and one creditor for 4,320 have not uh, got their checks encashed from the bank right so as per the bank the overdraft balance is less because these checks have not been encashed as yet right so this 38580 and this 4320 should be deducted as the overdraft balance in passbook is less in this case right so let's do that so now come to this part the less part Checks issued but not encashed. You can add both of them and put it together. 38,580 plus 4320, right? 38,580 plus 4320 is 42,900. So that we can put here 42,900. Now, as per the instruction, the bank on 28 March paid out Rs. 10,500 to a creditor. But by mistake, the same has not been entered in the cash book, right? Okay. So, that means this amount has been paid to a creditor. It is a payment. So, the overdraft balance increases as per the bank, right? Because they have made the payment, right? they have debited this amount fine but the same has not been entered in the cash book as per the bank the overdraft balance is more so this should be added right so here i'll write Payment made to a creditor directly by the bank, 10,500, right? Next, according to the agreement on 25th March, a debtor deposited directly into the bank, rupees 9,000, but the same has not been recorded in the cash book. A debtor has deposited some money directly into the bank, right? So, the bank will credit that money, right? So, the overdraft balance as per the passbook comes down right whereas the same has not been entered in the cash book so in the cash book it is more but in the passbook it has come down right so this should be deducted payment made by debtor directly into bank 9000 okay in the month of March, the bank, without any intimation, debited his account for Rs. 120 as bank charges. When the bank deducts the amount 
of rupees 120 as bank charges the bank has debited his account that means as per the bank the overdraft balance has become more right so here the bank charges with the bank has charged that should be added right because that increases the overdraft balance as per the passbook right and in the same one it is given it's debited his account for rupees 120 as bank charges and credited rupees 180 as interest so credited rupees 180 as interest means the overdraft balance comes down by 180 rupees right in the in the passbook interest allowed 180 right so that's it all the items have been put into the bank reconciliation statement now now let's see the total of this first of all you take this this is 11160 plus 10500 Plus one two zero, that is twenty one thousand seven eighty, right? So this twenty one thousand seven eighty should be added here, right, to the overdraft. So now after this, the overdraft becomes fifty two thousand one hundred plus twenty one thousand seven eight zero. That is seventy three thousand eight hundred and eighty, right? Now, this is the amount by which it has come down, right? So here you see, this is forty two thousand nine hundred plus. Nine thousand plus one eight zero, that is fifty two thousand eighty, right? So here, this amount fifty two thousand eighty should be deducted from this overdraft, fine. And here you get seventy three thousand eight hundred and eighty minus. Fifty-two thousand eighty. That is equal to twenty-one thousand eight hundred. Right. So this is the overdraft. This is the balance this is the balance as per the passbook and this is also overdraft balance only see the overdraft initially was this much 52100 it got added by 21780 so the overdraft became 273880 out of that this much money has been credited right so still there is 21800 that is the balance as per the passbook the overdraft balance as per the passbook right okay so this is how we will solve this question where the bank overdraft as per the cash book is given and we find out the balance as per the pass book so finally you have to decide whether it is a overdraft balance as per the pass book or it's a favorable balance right in our case it is a overdraft balance right so with that i come to the end of this session in our next session i'll take up the next case Bye